The good news, I'm no longer anticipating flooding for our area. The bad news, ugh, the rainfall totals just keep getting lower and lower. I just looked at the latest computer models, not great. Some areas may be hard pressed to even get a half of an inch in our area as the heaviest rain stays to the south. Potential tropical cyclone number one, still there in the Gulf of Mexico, has not yet been upgraded to tropical storm Alberto. If it is, it would happen sometime tomorrow. The storm is about 600 miles away from us. The reason it hasn't been upgraded, it's got winds strong enough at 40 miles per hour. It doesn't have a well-defined center of circulation. It is making a beeline to the west, likely to make a landfall tomorrow night near Tampico, Mexico. Meanwhile, here in central Texas, well, technically you've got a flood watch for Caldwell and Fayette counties, points to the south, but points to the south look like they will be the big winners in the rainfall department, unlike us. I will tell you there's also a very outside chance, a level one of five severe threat that does include portions of Caldwell, Bastrop, Lee and Fayette counties points south for maybe an isolated spin up tornado. Here's your forecast. I know you're going to see these big rain icons and think this is great. I do think temperatures will only top out around 83, but I also think that the heavy rain is going to stay to our south and even these half inch to one inch totals might be a little on the high end for us. Farther south, still a potential of seeing five to 10 plus inches in in areas that do need it. So we'll root for those folks. For us, yeah, not looking great. Hour by hour tomorrow. By about lunchtime, we're going to start to see round number one of rain pushing through, getting a little heavier around four o'clock. And then by about seven, eight o'clock, more of the same pushing through. And most of this is going to be in and out before you wake up on Thursday. Thursday, late day, we might see a few more showers and isolated storms. Not much out there, though. All right, prepare yourselves. Yesterday, some of these computer models were showing one to as much as nine inches of rain. Okay, this is the latest one. Half an inch in Austin, an inch for LaGrange, a quarter of an inch in Burnett. Hate to be the bearer of bad news, but this is not going to be a big drought buster for the areas that need it, at least in our area. It will cool us down for a day. Then summer begins, 91 degrees, and we're gonna see 90s all the way through the rest of that seven day forecast.